A little bit introduction of deodorization process. Deodorization is a vacuum steam distillation process of an oil at an elevated temperature during which free fatty acid and minute levels of odoriferous materials are removed to obtain a blend and odorless oil. Usually, this process is the last refining process carried out to improve the taste, odor, color, and also the stability of the edible oils. The odoriferous substances are include FFA, aldehydes, ketone, peroxides, alcohol, and all other organic compounds. So, continue to the theory of deodorization equipment. Deodorization is actually a combination of two different effects on the oil which is the first one is the stripping of volatile compounds and the second one is the temperature effect temperature effect is a thermal destruction of pigment and unwanted side reactions such as cis trans isomerization polymerization conjunction and so on deodorization is a multi step process comprising deoration heating deodorization deacidification and cooling of the oil General overview of deodorization can be shown in the figure. Three equations that can be used to calculate the vapor pressure and the single pressure. Uh, the first one is the vapor pressure of a liquid uh, that described by the clausus clapeyron's equation. And follow the second law which is the Dalton's law which is described the vapor pressure of a mixture as the sum of the partial pressure of its single pressure and the last law is the uh, Rolle's law which the partial pressure of the single components can be calculated since the total vapor pressure of a system must always be greater than the partial pressure of each single component the boiling point of every system must be lower than the boiling point of its highest boiling component a higher vapor pressure caused by a higher temperature speeds up by the distillation. The vapor pressure of different fatty acid and minor components contribute to the vapor pressure of the total system. The lower the vapor pressure, the lower the volatility and thus they are more difficult to remove the component from the oil. It is clearly shows that in an oil with FFA and some aldehydes and ketones, uh, the FFA contributes predominantly to the vapor pressure of the system. Okay, next we'll move on to the process flow of deodorization system, which is the first step is the aeration process. Before heating the oil, air must be removed under the aeration of vacuum process to prevent oxidation to protect its quality. And second process is pre-stripping and retention. Once the oil has reached the desired temperature, it will be transferred to the deodorization column, which is the main company used for deodorizing edible fats and oils. The column consists of stripping sections and retention sections. Once the oil passes through the stripping sections, it will be exposed to a combination of vacuum and steam that remove volatiles, including the free fatty acids, which has higher vapor pressure than the oil itself. The presented volatile impurities can affect the flavor, odor, and stability of edible oils. Then the oil will be held in a retention section for, for a certain period of time for heat bleaching. This process is done to remove unwanted pigments and to ensure the stability of final products. And the second step is post stripping. Once the oil has gone through the heat, uh, heat bleaching process, it will be fed under vacuum to the post stripping sections, where it will be exposed to combinations of vacuum and steam that removes volatile components, uh, including the compounds of thermal degradation generated, uh, generated during retentions at high temperature. The treated oil will then be cooked. And the second step is GE stripping. At temperatures below 200 degrees C, the formulations of glycidyl esters, which we call as GE, will be limited and therefore GE can be stripped without formations uh, from cool quench oil. The specially designed column fill, uh, fill with structure packing or GE striper can effectively remove GE to levels below 0.5 ppm by promoting contact between steam and oil under vacuum conditions. The next step is condense, or to be exact, is the process it no, will be known as condensing remove impurities, where the volatile impurities removed from the oils will be condensed in the scrubber unit. By using the recirculated distillate, the scrubber will either be placed on top of the stripping sections or built as a separate vessels. And the last step is cooling sections, where the cooling of oil will be occurred in two stages, which are, which are the first one is in the economizer to the specified final temperature, and the second step is uh, second 
second stage is in the process of polish filtrations between be, uh, before being transferred to subsequent processes, storage or packaging. Next is PNID identification. So this is PNID identification for deodorization process. Deodorization is a multi-step process comprising deaeration, multi-stage heating and cooling, and deodorization deacidification of the oil. Okay, for deaeration, okay. Deodorization is a degum blanch oil that uh, prior to heating to deodorizing temperature to avoid oxidation and polymerization. It is accomplished in separate external vessel connected to the vacuum system of the bleacher or at even lower pressure uh, in an integrated compartment of the deodorizer. Okay, next is heating and cooling. Heating uh, of the oil is usually accomplished in two or more stages, which is to minimize the net energy cause bleach, bleach first preheated in one or two stages in a heat exchanger devices with either hot deodorizer oil or steam and then uh, the thermo siphon system is a special method of heat re recovery that is used in semi-continuous de uh, deodorizer and steam produced in the oil cooling section flow in a closed loop to the oil preheating section it will condense then the water flow back to the cooling section in this way a heat recovery for of 45 to 75 percent can be achieved depending on the design of the therm thermo siphon system Re deodorization deacidification since the concentration of most volatile components in edible oil is quite low a stripping agent must be injected uh, during deodorization for economic reasons steam is the most commonly used stripping agent but the use of Nitrogen has also been studied ex extensively. Nitrogen is an inert gas and uh, theoretically it use, it use will result in lower losses and also higher quality of the deodorizer distillate. However, in industrial practice, nitrogen is not used primarily because it, it is not condensable gases and this made the required vacuum system much more expensive than the use of steam, which is condensable. Vapor scrubbing system, the vapor leaving the deodorizer consists of steam, volatile compo uh, components, which is fatty acids, sterol, and or contaminants, uh, and also some non-condensable. Condensation of the volatile components is achieved in scrubber, result in, in a byproduct called deodorizer distillate. Condensation is achieved by creating a very good contact between the hot vapor phase and the cool de deodorizer distillate that is partially recirculating over the scrubber. And lastly is for vacuum system. The vacuum in the de deodorizer is usually created by a combination of steam ejector, vapor condenser and mechanical vacuum pumps. This quite robust system typically reach pressure in the deodorizer between 2.5 and 5 m bar which motive steam consumption is high uh, motive steam consumption can be significantly reduced reduced by cooling barometric condenser water however the benefit of a lower motive steam consumption must be weighed against the extra chilling capacity required Another benefit from using uh, chiller water barometric vacuum system is a better condensation of the volatile matter, which also gives a lower pressure in the deodorization. In the process of deodorization, there will be a problem in how the machine works, the effect of the process and the product produced. Machinery problem is a problem affecting a machine or a system that make it not work as it should. The low steam pressure is the problem faced at deodorization. Um, when the pressure is low, the steam cannot reach as what it should be, so the boiler took so long to, to um, boil, which is up to 3 to 4 hours that normally only an hour it needs to reach. So the solution of this um, problem is they need to fix the boiler so uh, the pressure will be stable. Next, another problem is polymerization and transfat formations in a deodorizer due to the high temperature in 
uh, deodorization step. A frequent power failure may aggravate these problems. The solution for this problem are the utility models invented that has reasonable designs, simple structure, low cost and fully functional and is able to improve the productivity and achieve better deodorizing effect. Next, to avoid the pipe clogging, um, the maintenance needs to check after running the process and fixes three times a year. Then, to remove a part of the residual voltimeter, the maintenance needs to open all the tank and clean it with the acid. Product marketability from the equipment. First of all, the finished deodorized oil can be classified as acceptable over a wide range of specification that depends on the market, like and dislike of the people within the particular country or region in which the product will be consumed. By edible oil, the palm oil segment dominates the industry. Palm oil can be easily refined and has lower cost. Palm oils have a superior tacoferrol content which is supported by commercial enterprises as this result in better stability in these liquids thereby enhancing their shelf life. Malaysia and Indonesia are among the key players in the industry. The Asia Pacific market expected to grow the highest compound annual growth rate um, because in the system deodorization system industry due to the enormous growth opportunity of the food and beverages industry in countries such as China, Indonesia, Vietnam, South Korea, Malaysia and Thailand.